We're going to take a look at these big two heats, heat number six and seven. The first one being Brett Simpson up against John John Florence Barton. I'm sure you've been able to watch there. Now we're going to be able to see it on the camera and get your perspective on what happened in these last two heats. Because I only saw it all live. I never saw a replay of anything, so I'm really looking forward to that. But emotional is the only word I can come up with. It was uh, everybody was just you know blown away by the end result of both of these heats. Well, you got to talk about John John Florence pretty much putting two of the best turns, but not able to do it on consecutive ways or com combine them in on one single wave. Yeah, we'll see right here in this one. That turn was amazing. So beautiful. Full rail. Did the inside work and came in here and went, I'm going to go all or nothing. And it ended up being a nothing, a four-point ride. Brett Simpson, he, uh, he finished his. He got this big air, this one right here. Did some goofy stuff after it because he was that <laughs> excited. I don't know what that was. But, um, yeah, great air. That was an eight-point ride. Yeah, 8.33 for that one. And then, of course, uh, he backed it up with a 6.83. Yeah, beautiful surfing, and it was controlled here. He knew he had the advantage on one, wanted to bank a second one. He did just that, start to get a little looser and more powerful on the inside. Beautiful finishing turn, banked that one. You can see how stoked he was. Great win, and, and no controversy about that one at all. 15.16 total for Brett Simpson to an 8.74 for John John Florence. And then the next big heat. This one, a bit more controversial, a bit more close. This was Tanner Gadowskis up against Gabriel Medina. Well, this was the first wave, and this was the best surf left we've seen event I reckon look at the turns incredibly well surfed mid-range 8 8.5 Medina had a couple of falls early backed it up with this 8.83 and had the advantage on the first exchange would you try and dissect these two waves because this one came in at an 8.83 which was the best wave of the heat we had a pair of 8.67s from Tanner Gadowskis but I think that this wave here not this one, but the one from Gabriel yeah. Medina that came in at an 8.3. I think that's where we're questioning where that score came from. And it's really hard to dissect. I know that the majority of people, here it is, nice speed turn off the top. This turn is amazing. Look, just times it beautifully, slides the tail out, spray to the heavens, comes around. There's a little bit of the time issue. He was patient. There was waiting for it to stand up. Every turn was beautiful. He had multiple turns. Um, I don't know. Personally, I thought he got it. 8.34 needed, Barton. Came up an 8.3. At the end, a score came in for Tanner Gadowskis, which ended up being an 8.67. After all said and done, Tanner Gadowskis, the wild card, takes down world number three, Gabriel Medina. And Medina was shocked. I know everyone on that on the competitors area was shocked. And uh, it was that's one that the Twitter sphere will most probably light up about. People will be talking about. Uh, Matty Wilkos yesterday had some controversy. Here we see it. Every single ride of Tanner Gadowskis was an 8 plus. So super consistent and spectacular at the same time. 8.5, 8.67, 8.4, and finish it up right there with an 8.67. Tanner Gadowskis, all teeth, having a good old time <laughs> yeah. here at Lower Trestles. And it's been an exciting day, boys. And I know there's more excitement happening in the water right now. Oh, that was unbelievable, and great to get your thoughts and insights. It was interesting looking at the replays, because uh, there was so much happening in that heat. We didn't get a lot of time to reflect and break it down. Ross, you thought that Tanner's first wave, that left, was amazing. Barton said he thought it was the best left surf during the contest. He was definitely more ag aggressive, and his surfing was a little bit more upside down than Medina's. Medina's surf looked a little flatter on those replays. Yeah, and you know, it really boils down to the wave that they had in front of him. And so for, for Tanner Gadaskas, he was a little bit fortunate that he had these really great cupped out steep waves where he was attacking. And he, you know, he really delivered the most powerful punch he could to each section. I wouldn't have been uh, unhappy with a, a, a 9.2 or something like that with that left from Tanner. I agree with Barton. Um, I thought that was the best wave of the heat. Uh, but, uh, you know, it just felt so weird how the scale was set and you see these numbers falling and maybe the, the wrong place and that's when everyone just uh, gets kind of frazzled.